So, you know, we kind of had a pretty messy initial first video in our town, um, I, I think, in my opinion, but I think we should I hopefully get back a little bit more on track within this video. So we ran out of space in my stockpile in the last video, um, and now my citizens have already got onto, you know, getting all the resources underneath our lake, as well as reaching out over here and grabbing all the things that we grabbed accidentally um, in this location, because I, I didn't mean to mine out this, this part of the... Um, this part of the world. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I should, you know, kind of make sort of a, not really a moat filled with a water, well, filled with water. Would it still technically be called a moat then? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, but what if we dug, like, dug something like a pit deep to keep us safe, um, at least until the mountains, you know, something like boom, like that. That's maybe not a bad idea. I never really thought about that. We might want to try it. Very, I mean, we'd be spreading ourselves out very thin. Uh, we definitely need to increase our net worth because right now our net worth is not enough, um, even close to enough to get our first requirement. I guess to satisfy the daily updates, the daily requirements for a new citizen. Um, we do need a door. I don't exactly know which door it is that we need, though. So I will build a few of those. A red door, I guess. We'll build a few windows because I know that we don't have any of this stuff, really. Um, you can build a few more bricks when you're done with all this stuff. And uh, I think we have already stationed or already put most of the resources back. Not really much in here. They're still working on that. But uh, most of the other stuff is coming back home, which is good. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just plant down right right again. Just just another little, little clay house. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put it on this side. Well, let's see. What if we just stack them up here? I think we'll do that. Let's go and just like build them all like not really in a, any sort of uniform way. We need red clay door. Then we need the lace, the lat latticed clay window frame. What is that? Latticed? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. You, we'll we'll build whatever that is for you. Don't worry about it. I I've got you. Where is that at? It's this one, right? Yeah, it's just kind of dark in this window. So I'll build like five of those. I think we needed one red. red. We needed one just reg regular uh, window frame. And then we needed a red door. So I'll build a few of those too. Since we're going to build like a bunch of these small houses, uh, I want to do that everywhere. Uh, I'm also going to build a little gnome. Maybe we could build like a village. Oh, geez, already. All right, fantastic. Um, so should we engage now? Luckily, we just picked up all the resources in this location before um, this guy popped up. Now, I don't necessarily have to go after him. I believe he's going to protect his treasure. We could just have this giant zombie chill there for a little bit. But my, my fear with doing that would that would be that, you know, enemies would consolidate over in this location of, of the map. Uh, that is my only fear in that sense. And, like, let's say if a goblin camp pops up, they'd, they'd pop up around this location. So that is a little bit scary. Um, of course, you know, we always have access to, bam, level 3 potter. Very good. Uh, we always have always have access to the combat party one, um, which is I love that there's actually a number um, uh, in the UI now showing us exactly who's in the party system and stuff like that. So all the footmen, are, like I said in the first video, are going to be put and attached to uh, combat party one, the red flag. So that that's really really helpful. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other parties just yet. Uh, I might have a separate party for some of the specialists, some of the special working uh, citizens in our town, like derp, uh, derpy hooves. Um, Julia and um, and Hellfire because they all have jobs. Everyone else is just a worker for now, but uh, you know we'll have more. Hey, oh he's over here. Ooh, I wonder if we could go and grab this. So could I tell them to loot right now? I don't really want to. Well, let's let's go ahead and slow it down. Let's stop it. Could I say go go over here and loot this? Okay, good. I can't. Okay. Just wondering. Actually, I kind of would have wanted to. How cool that would have been if, if we could, like, if we had, like, a... Th that should be some sort of new class. Maybe a footman and then, like, a thief. That would be so cool. Some sort of a, a thief. Um, maybe, like, maybe that, that could be an upgrade path. From the footman, you can have a thief. Uh, and then, you know, you can sneak by and try to steal all the, you know, the gold away from the goblin camps or, the you know, the, the gold away from the giant zombie and stuff like that. But, uh, but right now, I understand. I mean, they just introduced this new mechanic, so I get they're going to be trying out new things but uh right now you have to actually defeat the giant zombie before you can get access to his uh master's treasure i don't know who his master is that is that exactly but uh hopefully we don't find out because i don't know who this guy is following orders from 
He's probably somebody really small, actually. Still, no net worth. Okay, that's fine. And we haven't even really come close to... Hey, why haven't you got... There's so many resources. You guys just leaving stuff on the roof still? All these resources just being left up here. Someone go get this stuff. Okay. Um, how is this going? It does seem like it's taking a bit longer. Why is that? Where's everybody else? Uh, it's because it's of the middle of the night. People are sleeping. Uh, let me look inside here and see if I can't fit another bed. I, I, I've been making a lot of beds for a reason. Uh, see, the door is going to open, though. That's... That's the problem. This is a really not a very good. Oh jeez, this is really not a good building. It's like one more. Ah oh, jeez, can I fit this? Yeah, I guess I could fit it there. But will the door still open? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's let's go ahead and see. But uh, yeah, I think the template should be built like slightly bigger. Well, clearly they can still walk in. I just, re I just, you know, I know it's going to bug me because I, I recognize that this door is probably going to hit the bed. It does, but that's fine. Okay, whatever. Uh, and we can put, like, so that's how we'll probably do these small towns. We'll be putting two beds uh, whenever we get four houses up um, in each. And then we can maybe put, we can put chests inside at the, at the end of the bed, you know, for each individual citizen. So for their own personal I items. That's what we'll say. Obviously, it won't be like that. We'll be putting stuff from the stockpile in it. But, you know, it's all about, it's all about the lore. Of our town. Hey, where'd the giant... Okay, I was going to freak out a little bit. So let's go ahead and take him down now. Uh, you know what? I do... I, I feel like it's not a good idea to just keep him there. Let's go ahead and take him down. Uh, so we can attack a specific enemy uh, at the exclusion of all others. Uh, what else can we do? Move to a location. Defend location. We can cancel order. So let's go ahead and attack this guy and see what this looks like. That's cool that the icon pops up above him. And uh, hopefully we don't have our first death... <laughs> no, I don't think so. I mean, even though it's a giant zombie, I think we'll be okay. Returns. Oh. Yes, actually, we should have bought this. I just realized that we did not give him a shield. One reason why my uh, previous footman had fought so well was because he had a shield, but looks like we're doing okay. Ooh. Maybe not. I don't even know if our herbalist is ready for this. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna win. An enemy. Oh, yeah, I know there's an enemy. And bam, let's go ahead and loot this stuff. Uh, loot. It's not L. It's shift I. That's right. Ladder. Ladder is L. Okay, so you go and you go home. You go in the bed. You go in the bed, man. Let's go to the herbalist and see what we can't build. There's got to be a few things now. There we go. Okay, so these cactus flowers just count as regular flowers, I guess. And pink and blue are the colors, not red and white. Um, so strength toxin. Well, but first we have to build a few of these, and I'm not sure exactly how much we have to build in order for him to level up, but uh, our our, we definitely should build like 10. Let's go ahead and build 10 for now. Because we're not going to do anything else with these flowers. Actually, we don't really technically need to build any more flowers. I could probably cast, cancel these croplands for now. But let's, let's, let's really... I don't know. There's already a lot. We already have a lot. Maybe we shouldn't even have Julia waste her time on the flowers anymore. That's what I think we're going to do. You know, instead of just like canceling this whole thing though, I will just have us grow carrots since we were able to make those faster. And, you know, I don't want to take away that whole plot of land. You know, it's just a waste of time, pretty much. Okay, so we should come over there and loot that stuff. I might as well grab some of these uh, pears. Pear cactuses. Um, good, someone's going over there. And we just finished this building. Hellfire. Very good. Okay, so there he goes. Bam. Okay, so are we, we're not going to have him do anything else. Is this all he's going to do? Uh, well, actually, all he can do now is, I mean, we've got, oh, where did we get silkweed from? Bundle of fiber. Okay, well, let's build a few of those, too. Just build five of those, I guess. Yeah, let's make sure that we have a good supply of all this stuff. Just in case some ra really crazy stuff goes down. And then he'll naturally heal everybody, stuff like that, automatically. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, did we not build the door? What's the potter doing? Well, the potter's still working, so that's good. Oh, here are all the, okay, now she's working on the... The other crucial things. And yeah, go ahead and start building me a few urns. Let's go ahead and do that. Invaders approach. Oh, where? Okay. So we got two of them. That's not too bad. But uh, is our footman back and ready to go? Is there a way we can tell if Edward's back at full health? Yeah, he is back at full health. Okay. So good. His morale is low. And he is infected now. So this is interesting that I didn't get to jump into in the first video. Um, there are infections now. These will be uh, having a 
impact uh, in our game, in our campaign. Let's go ahead and make sure that we loot this. Shift I. That didn't work. Shift I. I thought it was Shift I. Is it not? Key Shift I. Or is that Shift L? Oh, that's Shift L. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking capital I for some reason. I don't know. Okay, and then we already put down that bed. Uh, the door will be placed very soon. Do we have the windows up? We don't have the windows up, but I think the potter is working on the windows. These are the windows that we need, I, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and build some more. Let's just constantly be building these houses. Uh, we're also probably going to get a new citizen, so we'll be able to name somebody um, very soon. I guess we'll just build it there. Because why not? Yeah. Like I said, we're going to build a village, and then if we want to build bigger structures later, then I might do that. But right now, I want, like, everyone... You know, I, Again, I, I've always been like this in Stonehearth. I always liked the idea of everyone having their own personalized house. Uh, so everyone having their own individual house. I don't want to... I, I feel like I've been an evil ruler in Stonehearth for such a long time. You know, putting people inside of these small corners, inside of a warehouse where they can sleep. Oh my gosh, this guy's back? Okay, well, I'm leaving him alone. I don't even know if we... Did we get the resources? From, I, don't, I don't know. I've, I don't even know. But I'm leaving him alone. We're not going to go after him anymore. That's that's fine. He can he can do that sort of thing. Um, but anyways, we should finish this soon. We're going to need to probably get a bit more clay because I'm sure we're, we're running out of clay uh, as we speak. So I don't know if I want to start digging down now or what. Let's wait till we get the update. Uh, we're about to get the daily update soon. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, that's Julia because she's just waiting. Uh, let's make sure that we tell Julia if she can't do anything else. Yeah, go ahead and uh, make sure that you you also can build. We should probably have everyone build if they're not doing anything. Oh, you can't. Ah, workers cannot build. Okay, well, let's make sure that we get our new person. Good. And let's keep on building. So uh, this person will be named. Let me stop it right there. And cool, we have like a Wolverine sort of character. 655, very good all around. I like that. Let's go with uh, Riddle Tom. Welcome aboard, Riddle Tom. We could really utilize your help. So hopefully the... Oh, uh-oh. Okay, good. Okay, that was going to be scary. <laughs> uh, uh-oh, I was... <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, so I think we're okay now. But again, we're opening up more vision uh, within this world, within uh, Crack Planet. That's my only fear. I'd love to use these levels as like kind of forts... The, like this would be really cool to use as like a fortification or something like that. Uh, this extra level of land, you know, you build a, a ladder up this way, and then you have walls uh, around the mountain, kind of like Helm's Deep from Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm kind of feeling. I'm feeling something like that, but we'll see. Okay, so now, yeah, now I don't mind. We'll we'll start to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, we will need to place down a ladder to make sure that we save these guys. But yeah, let's just have a few go down there. Oh, I guess we're gonna stop working on the the building now. I shouldn't have done that now that I think about it because net worth is is the requirement it seems like that we're struggling most with. Um, I don't I actually I don't know if I, off the top of my head how I was doing how I was doing in terms of food. Food I'm at 6.1 technically right now, but I'm talking about inventory. That's what the daily update looks at first. Uh we're okay. Nothing to be too excited about, but I'm guessing with the second crop of of corn, uh, that'll help because especially because those resources grow pretty fast. Okay, and uh, if we can't already place this down, a goblin? Oh, we've got two goblins. That's not a goblin. Uh, that is two goblins. So hopefully the footman is not somewhere... Oh, yeah, okay, he's safe. He's watching the stockpile. Everyone's running away. No, 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 don't... No, you keep running. You keep running. I actually like this. We haven't given Edward a, a shield. It does seem like he's still pretty strong for the most part. And he's just reached level uh, level two footman, so that's good. Yep, okay, so everything went fine. Um, and now they're, everyone's going to eat, so I don't think anyone's going to put down the ladder right now. Traveler approaches. Okay, so what is this? If you're interested, you can make me eight mason chisels for what? Uh, but I'll be... Wait, what? If you're interested. I'll be back in one day, and I might be able to get you one potter's cutter. Potter's cutter? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Potter's cutter? Is that like an actual, another, like to be able to get another potter? Well, I don't know, but I will accept this. All you want is eight mason ch uh, chisels. We can do that. He's not doing really anything else. So, bam, go ahead and work on that. Uh, are the windows being placed in now? Yes, they are. 
Okay, good. And we actually use two of those red windows. I need to keep that in mind. So for each of these individual uh, houses. But everything else is going good so far. The ladder's been placed down. Uh, actually, I messed that up. I probably shouldn't have put the ladder right there. I mean, I guess I could always just dig like this now. Let's go and dig a little bit more. Got to keep an eye on my stockpile. My stockpile is running out of space. Uh, what's the herbalist doing? So I know that he's reached level two. He's not doing anything else. Let's do five of these and five of these because why not? Now, uh, did you notice that we couldn't grow silkweed? Um, that might be a problem. We have, we're going to have to uh, grab it from resources around us, it looks like. Yeah, coarse fibers. I mean, I, there's actually uh, multiple, I think, uh, sort of wildlife around, wild plant life that we'll be able to kind of grab from. Oh, okay. Well, I guess Edward just decided to, to jump in and attack. I cannot build the shield right now unless I buy it. Okay, so he's having, like, no impact on the... Oh, good, the zombie's not going to attack us at the moment. He's behind him. Just like what I said in the last video. We should have a thief. He's pretty much a thief now. The, the zombie doesn't even know he's dying. Oh, now he does. Okay, good. And we're going to get a uh, spool of thread. Her Hellfire, very good. So we're going to get gold ore out of this. So let's make sure that we grab that. How much gold ore are we getting exactly? Oh, that's just gold ore. For some reason, I thought that was like gold coins or something. I don't know why I read it like that. But uh, okay, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I'm not much of a miner anyways. You guys know this. don't really do much mining, especially not at the very beginning of the campaign. Mining is for the late game, I think. Mining is like strictly for late game stuff. Uh, we have built a few urns. So should I place... Well, let's see what else my potter can build. I know that he's really busy. Um, yeah, quite busy. I would like a few dining tables. I don't know if we're ready for that just yet, though. But, oh, have I built large urns? Oh, maybe I, yeah, no, I did. I know I did. Decorative tray. So, yeah, we can't build a shield unless we have a carpenter. So, it, it you do have a tougher time um, as these, as this particular uh, sort of village, these villagers, instead of, like, the, 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 the normal, I guess, uh, what do they refer to as? The normal class, I guess, that, that we've been playing with with Stonehearth? Um, it, it's tougher because we can't build shields right off the bat. We have to go all the way to a blacksmith to be able to get the carpenter's saw. So th that does make things obviously a bit more difficult. Um, I will build these just so that we can sell this off later. Tile mosaic. Unfired clay vase. Decorative tray. We can build a few of these. Tiny garden uh, guardian. Tiny garden guardian. What else would we need? I think we I think we discussed that we might need a bit more of these uh, red windows than we thought, because there's two of them normally needed. Nice, everyone can build a utility uh, clay safety standard now. What kind of resources does that require? Oh, it does require uh, silk though. I'm sorry, uh, thread, not spools of thread. Was it, is that is that what it's referred to as? Just thread. I can't remember. Anyways, we should be fine here. I'm going to have to stop right there. Town's looking a little bit better, but obviously I want a lot more buildings as well as, you know, one thing I like is I'd like to get my uh, citizens to be able to sit down when they eat. So I always, obviously, I always like a dining hall. It uh, helps with digestion. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.